Hi, time for another update from Prophecy in the News. It's Wednesday, the 3rd of October. Wanted to talk about Syria a little bit, although the entire Middle East is in flames right now. Some interesting things happening vis-a-vis -vis Syria. From the Jerusalem Post today, dozens of Syrians approach Golan border. Tourists evacuated. Uh, and we have this, the IDF evacuated tourists from the top of Mount Hermon Wednesday afternoon after sighting dozens of possibly armed Syrians approaching the border in the Golan Heights. The IDF said the sub suspects did not infiltrate the border into Israel. It was not clear whether they were armed or who they were, but uh, Syrians moving toward Israel, moving down from the uh, area of uh, what the Bible refers to as Bashan, uh, the area of Mount Hermon. Arutz Sheva, reporting on the same event, said armed Syrians cause evacuation at Hermon's site. Uh, armed Syrians, this time, uh, were spotted near Israel's northern border on Wednesday, prompting IDF soldiers to quickly evacuate tourists in the area. Uh, if we have refugees fleeing southward toward Israel from Syria, that is to be expected <clears throat> because we have uh, now virtually full-blown war in Syria. Right now, it's focused around Aleppo up in northern Syria, which is Syria's largest city. And I'm reading this from Arut Sheva. Syrian army soldiers are reportedly aiming heavy artillery at Palestinian Authority camps and executing Arab men in others. The Syrian army against the Palestinian Authority uh, in various spots now in Syria. This points up the big difference between the Shiite Muslims, who are the PA, and the Alawite Muslims, who represent Syria. The Bethlehem-based Ma'an news agency quoted the Damascus-based Coordinating Committee of the Yarmouk Refugee Camp, uh, who these representatives said uh, today, earlier today, that 20 Palestinian Authority Arabs in the Dara'a camp were killed. Dozens of others were wounded in heavy bombing by the Syrian army. And we have this in response to what has been basically a long siege uh, against Aleppo. And uh, now we're going to read an interesting figure that you may not have heard, and certainly you haven't heard it in the Western press. This is from Arut Sheva. <clears throat> UN raises Syrian refugee estimate to 710 thousand. Now that's a large number. Uh, the United Nations has again raised its estimate of the number of Syrians who will flee their country by the end of this year. At least 710,000 Syrians will have abandoned the nation by the end of 2012. The figure was raised by an additional 10,000 only a week after the international body and other agencies published a report placing the figure at possibly 700,000. Uh, refugees at year's end. The way the figure is escalating, uh, it's probably closer to a million, and I've seen that estimate in other sources. Uh, we're talking about now major conflagration in Syria. Uh, the uh, Islamic uh, Brotherhood, the Muslim Brotherhood, as it's called uh, in the Western press, is moving into uh, that region. They're moving into other regions too, and we'll discuss that in days to come. But what we have now is conflagration and massive, massive death counts augmented by people fleeing on foot with anything they can carry on their backs, up to a million Syrians. Uh, we're looking uh, for, uh, I think, the fall of Syria. And I read again uh, what I think it may be a prophecy that refers to this uh, in Jeremiah 49, 23, and it says concerning Damascus. Damascus, of course, is in south-central Syria, and it is uh, said to be the oldest continually occupied city in the world and has never, had, uh, has never been scarred by a major conflagration in its entire History. However, in at least two places in the Old Testament, there is a prophecy saying that Damascus is going to be uh, wiped out. And I start again in uh, Jeremiah 49, 23, where it says, Concerning Damascus, 
Uh, Hamath is confounded and Arpad, for they have heard evil tidings. They are faint-hearted. Uh, there is sorrow on the sea. It cannot be quieted. Damascus is waxed feeble. This is kind of interesting to me because the Bible speaks of a time in the future when the always powerful city of Damascus, which has been around for a long, long time, one of the major cities in the old Ottoman Caliphate, and before that, a major trade center uh, going back 2,000, 3,000 years. But for the first time, uh, we see what may be the fulfillment of this prophecy. Damascus is waxed feeble and turneth herself to flee and fear hath seized upon her. Well, you know, pardon me, but this is exactly what all these news releases are talking about. People are now fleeing the city of Damascus and heading south toward Jordan, toward the Israeli border, the Golan Heights, and perhaps toward uh, Lebanon. We don't know exactly how that's going to work out, but believe me, we'll be watching. It says here, anguish and sorrows have taken her as a woman in travail. Now, the woman in travail motif, which we read several times in prophecy, always seems to apply to day of the Lord prophecies. Uh, a woman in travail is a woman about to give birth to a child. And in, in the Bible, that symbolizes the birth of a new system or a new nation. Verse 25, how is the city of praise not left, the city of my joy? Therefore, her young men shall, men shall fall in the streets. Let me read that again. Therefore, her young men shall fall in her streets, and all the men of war shall be cut off in that day, saith the Lord of hosts. And I'll kindle a fire in the wall of Damascus, and it shall consume the palaces of Ben-Hadad. And, of course, the royal palaces in Damascus have been there in one form or another for centuries. But at, at a certain point, uh, the prophecy says that they will be uh, set afire. That seems to be uh, in the offing as we speak and as we read these, uh, these news bulletins out of the various news agencies in the Middle East. I just thought it might be interesting to share that with you today. Keep watching news releases from Damascus, because that's basically where it's happening right now, as the heat is being turned up uh, against Damascus by the Shiite Muslims. And this is another added feature in that, and, and that is that Iran is watching very, very carefully what happens to Damascus, because Iran and Damascus have uh, more or less uh, sealed a mutual defense pact, and uh, Iran feels threatened if Damascus should fall. So watch it. Watch all these things happening as they as this dramatic, dramatic situation is uh, escalating in Syria, in the Middle East. Uh, I think we're going to be talking soon about Jordan too. Of course, just to the south of Damascus, we have uh, what used to be called Transjordan. Uh, Jordan is a nation that was declared into existence back in 1921. And the Hashemite Kingdom of Jordan is now at odds with the Muslim Brotherhood. So it too could fall in the very near future. And so we'll be talking about all of these things uh, in days to come, I'm sure. Gary Stearman, keep looking up everybody, things are happening.